coming out of time in Greenwich. And I'm descending the stairs into the tunnel. This is the foot tunnel that links Island Gardens to Maritime Greenwich. The game of kick the can takes on all new meanings. We're right below the Thames now. And thankfully, the can kicking kids have moved on. On the paving slabs in front of me, the signs that say no cycling. But that never stops anyone. So we have two cyclists coming towards us. Even someone on an electric scooter. I'm not sure which are more dangerous. The cyclist coming towards you at great speed. Or the cyclist from behind who you don't hear. I'm getting close now to the lift shaft on the island gardens side, the north side of the Thames. Owing to the pandemic, the lift is closed. It's one of the most capacious lifts in London. So we climb the stairs. Borough. We're in the borough of 
a notice proclaims that the tunnel is only open for essential journeys. And now we're on Island Gardens. This isn't really an island. It was only made an island by the London docks. Cutting across its northern section. The view from the gardens is made famous by Canaletto, who did painting exhibitions here when he came to London. I'm just taking you to a spot from where I can take the view and include it in the featured image for this walk. From here you can walk back through the tunnel or we'll take the DLR, the Docklands Light Railway, from Island Garden Station. We certainly have the feel of autumn now. It's a lovely sunny day and they forecast that it's going to heat up during the rest of the week. I think a passing aircraft overhead is a very good reason to stop this walk.